How y'all doing? Uh, we're going to do a live broadcast today. I guess uh, we're going to be part of a documentary on biomagnetism and biomagnetic paratherapy. So I figured I'd shoot this live at the same time. All right, nos vemos el sábado. Saying goodbye to a client that I will see on Saturday. For those of you who understand Spanish. Hello. Hi. Hi, come on in.
affect you, it'll, it'll also affect other people that are in your life and they don't even know it. Wow. Yeah, so you'll get phone calls from people that, that yeah. you weren't getting along with and they'll just apologize and stuff like that. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's like this. So I just this whole thing came up where it's like for so the woman I saw like three days ago that you said that there's like a shift in your time system, you know, like whatever the life is that you just said. Yeah.
All right, so we decided to use uh, my camera for some of the shooting. We're gonna move this out of the way. Hey, Kat, how you doing? Introduce yourself to my live audience. Oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> my daughter's watching. She's going to be moving here soon. Oh, hi. Hello. Where is she? She's in Philly. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. What's your name? Katie. Hi, Katie. Hi, Katie. <laughs> yeah. She's a filmmaker, future filmmaker. Oh, sweet. So you found the group? Uh, a group? The group? Oh, I think I can get out of... Uh, Sure. Like try and do two thousand things at the same time. So I'll I'll look at it after. No others. Every like every every time I look here, people are joining. I swear it's that popular. Look, LA Women's Film Group. Mm. Group, yeah. Cool, cool. It's popping. I mean, I I stay out of it and I just let the ladies take care of it. <laughs> Why did um, you start it? Because. I was filming fashion, right, mm -hmm. videos. I did a lot of stuff with models, and I couldn't, I can't work with guys because they're always hitting the models up for phone numbers and making the models uncomfortable. So I realized either I'm going to not work with ladies or not work with guys. I chose to not work with guys. <laughs> Fair <laughs> point. All right. You know what I mean? So I started a group, and even though I'm no longer working with the, the fashion designer, uh, the group took on a life of its own, and look, we are over 3,000, 3,010. Cool. So you guys have made 3,011 and yep. 3,012. Yeah. Sweet. All right, so how do we do this? Good stuff. So we can use camera sound, or we can use the Zoom, or a combination of Zoom and Lavas. If we're going to use Lavas, then let's bring the Lava um, amp and put it right here.
Yeah. There you go. <laughs> that's the M for the for the lab. Huh? Yes, that's the that's the, the receiving station, and then we. Thank you. Like this is a lot of. Yeah. <laughs> No, this gets me back into practice too because mm. I've been trying to get off my butt and start using mm. this stuff. You know? <laughs> mm -hmm. I hooked it all up and it's like, and I, I'm I'm in the stage of writing, but you know, yeah. Yeah. you gotta get inspired. All these different sounds like are going to be linked with the the, the image, or how, is it two different? The um the the camera sound is going to be yeah. linked with, with the, with the, with the boom, right? Okay, so and we can clap, right? And then okay, <laughs> and then this is a just extra sound yeah, that will yeah. sync. Two system sound. If it's better. If the camera sound is better, then you probably then you want to stick that. with okay. the camera, yeah. Sweet. You know, depending okay. on what sounds better to you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. They won't we'll try with yeah. that. We don't really know until the, you know. Right. Until the edit, and then we're like, oh, the camera sound sucks, you know. I put mine on. It's yours. Wow. This is a first. Yeah, I've never seen. It come off right here, huh? Mm hmm It's just the first time. Oh, look, it broke. Oh. It actually broke. What are you doing? Well, I don't need the tripod. You know what? We can also just do the sound of the camera. We camera sound? Yeah, yeah. The camera sound. Yeah, 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 yeah. thank okay, you. Okay. Okay. No, yeah, we don't want to <laughs> like... Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. No. <laughs> it's great, you know? Thank you so much. Yeah, it's super <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's not too much noise here. Okay. All right. Thank you for moving all this. We'll help you after. Now, what is the condition that you're addressing with magnetism? All right, I will explain it to you as soon as can the camera. Is it in the other room, the camera? Yeah, but there's this one. Oh. Which one? Oh, okay, okay. Uh, do, do, would you rather hold it? Hold on, okay, yeah. You have two, two different... Two different, yeah, like angles, I guess. Yeah. And charging the other battery. Are you from here? Um, originally from New Orleans. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. And when did you move here? 88. 88. Yeah, okay. it's been a while, so I guess I'm an Yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely by now, right? Yeah. Pretty sure the battery is charged over here. Maybe less. Okay, well, maybe not.
Now, we can use camera mic, this mic, or this mic and a local light. For, I think just, just, like, just this. like this is, like is, this? is okay. good, yeah. Okay. We're doing, like, the style of the documentary is, is handheld, like, purposely, you know, it's us to going into situations, so it's yes. actually, we're still beginning, so it was, I, I was considering everything you had, but now we're, <laughs> we should just realize it's probably better to stick to our stick to grind. Our mm -hmm. yeah, our yeah. style, which is just go going to places and yeah. jumping into the situation. That's cool. Is, you know. Yes. But thank you for this. Probably if mm -hmm. this one dies, we can use it. Testing, one, two, testing, one, two, three. Just make sure the mic is working. Mm -hmm. There we go. Cool. Good to go. All right, let me format the disc. So what I'll do then, in that case, if, if, if it's cool to you, then I would love to put this on the on tripod the and have right it right on her face, and then I'll film you with the other camera, yeah. as long as it has battery and Hopefully yeah. that should work. Thank, Thank you so much. Oh, I like it. So you guys want to be directors or? Um, yeah. Yeah. I mean, yes. You know. Wonderful. That's the same here. That's the reason you go, right? Uh, yeah. I know. You gotta twist it on there. You have to twist the whole camera. I know, right? It sucks. Wow. See. No, maybe I'm just doing it wrong. Hold on. I don't know. It seems like you. It seems kind of weird, right? That you would have to twist the camera. Yeah. What do you do? Yeah, you do. Alright. No worries. But I think you might have to take the mic off yeah. first. I know, right? Big mistakes. Yeah. Circulation, you hang upside down. And oh. So you do like a bunch of different like therapies. therapies, okay. Mm -hmm. And we're growing. We're going to pick up pulse em electromagnetic uh, field, PEMF therapy, which is really good. Mm -hmm. It's a super blast of negative pulled magnetism throughout your body. They okay. basically capture a lightning bolt. They use an arc chamber, right? Put an arc spark in there. And uh, they capture their energy from an arc chamber and put it through a coil. And it sends a very strong pulse, uh, electromagnetic pulse, you know, throughout your whole body. It feels really good. It's really rejuvenating. It gives you uh, good energy. Um, it's for the more intense, like, cancer patients and stuff. I had success with one cancer patient. I don't know if you saw the video on my website. No, I didn't. Yeah, yeah. I had, I had some success with one um, breast cancer Wow, that must be amazing. Yeah, you know, the thing is, right, because it's not touched by the uh, Food and Drug Administration, I have to, it's all anecdotal, right? So I have to put the videos and testimonials, right. which is cool that you were talking about this, because I, I try to produce.
the light is great, but I think it might be best for shoot. Is there a chair I can? Absolutely. You can yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Editing is corny. <laughs> <laughs> Joined the Free Sound Project? Nope. Freesound.org. Got to join. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. And also archive, right? The ar uh, internet archive. You can get mm -hmm. a lot of good right. video footage right. and stuff. Cool. Archive.org. <laughs> so I'm sorry it's so warm in here. Oh, we're okay. Don't worry. We're fine. Yeah, so I'll quickly explain so I have, do you know what cystic fibrosis is? Yes. Right, so I have cystic fibrosis. Okay. And um, so I don't know if you know, but the, one of the main dangers of the sickness is that you can get, like, catch bad bacteria, just bacteria that will, normal people would eradicate mm -hmm. normally, and that when you have CF, you don't, you don't eradicate them. Mm -hmm. And uh, they can just infect your lungs, and it can be, um, it can be dangerous. And so I've had, do you know what pseudomonas is? Pseudomonas, yeah. yeah, that's a, um, that's a uh, virus, I mean, that's a uh, fungus, bacteria. it's a bacteria that grows in uh, water uh, from a pyrogenic reaction. Okay. Yeah, if you don't have your uh, chlorine and chloramine in the water, you're going to form pseudomonas and you're going to form yogurt in the water. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, interesting. <laughs> yeah, so, so, and the, so the thing with TF is that the mucus in the lungs is thicker, mm -hmm. and, um, and so it just is a... Is a better environment for bacteria to grow in, and that's true. So I, my doctor always tells me never be in hot, humid environments because these bacteria tend to develop. So, mm -hmm. but so anyway, so um, another bacteria that's pretty like dangerous for CF is uh, Cepacia. I don't know if you've ever heard of that. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I have. It's just that we have to spell it in Spanish too. So how do you spell Cepacia? Right. Cepacia. I think it's C E P C. I think it's A E. Thanks. A E C I A. C -I -A, C -I -A yeah, right. Because um, right, you do all the body parts in Spanish, huh? Well, well the whole guide is written by Dr. Goyce, so it's, so it's all in Spanish, yeah. Oh, wow. You speak Spanish? Uh huh. Okay. I was in Spain from 84 to 88. Oh, okay, okay. I was born. Really? Yeah. Uh, I 
thought you looked Spanish. <laughs> yeah, yeah, my parents are uh, in ba Barcelona. Barcelona. Yeah. Wow, mm -hmm. I love Barcelona. Yes. I left when I was like one, so I don't really remember. Uh, um, right, yeah, so, so this bacteria is even more dangerous than Pseudomonas. But So eight years ago when I was, no, not eight years, five years ago when I was six, uh, 16, I caught like Cepatia. And so basically the way that tra like traditional Western medicine responds to having that bacteria is like a month long, like, anti like by, um, antibiotic intravenous treatment, which mm -hmm. I did. But then next to that, we tried to do basically anything else that we could find, like try anything. And one of the one of the things we tried is to biomagnetism. Like I knew, <clears throat> I met a, a woman, like the mom of another patient who had CF, who who used to go to Mexico and 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 do that. So we just basically flew to Mexico City, and I went to see Dr. Goyes, and I went to see another woman. And when I came back and I did the test, um, the bacteria was gone. But I just, I mean, I was also doing the antibiotics, so I don't know if biomagnetism did it or not. Uh, yeah, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. but when I left the the session, the, the woman who I said, it's gone. You know, she like did the whole thing with my feet, put the magnets and then re-asked my body and then apparently my body responded that uh, the bacteria was gone. And basically two days ago, I I learned that I had Cepatia again uh -huh. um, from a culture that I did like a, a, two months ago. Uh -huh. And then I did another culture a month ago, and it wasn't <clears throat> sorry, it wasn't present in the second one. So I don't know. Maybe it's maybe my immune system just got rid of it by itself. Maybe it's still there, and the, the, the culture didn't show it. So I'm not sure. But I'm going in tomorrow for another test <clears throat> to see if I if uh, I have sebacea, and if I do, then I will do like a pretty intense probably yeah, antibiotic treatment. So I would just wanted to see if you could try that. Yes, no, that's you right. Mean, you know, is that something that... Do you, um... Cepacia. Oh, I put an E in there. Okay. That's funny. Women need an enemy. It's, so it's BCC. BCC sedation. A solitary shiny nodule with large vessels on the osmonasi arising on the skin. Cepatia complex BCC. Yeah, but it's this one is this one is called B Cepatia, so B BCC. So B, Bucolaria Cepatia. But then Sino Cepatia, which is one type of this. Sino for the na yeah. nasal. No, Sino, no, 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 no. C E N O. C E N O. Yeah, and then same Cepatia. It's just basically the idea that there are different types of this yes. sedation. And it's in the, it's goes from it's in the lungs, in the mucus of the lungs. So let's go back to Dr. Goy's guide here. And they go for 
from CEO to CER, so it must be under the key name, the Corpus Association. No, it's just, it's easy because most terms are Latin, right? You know, medical terms. So it's usually pretty easy. But he, Dr. Goyes makes a guide that like... Do, That's what this is. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. So then like there's a different way of... Oh, it's like you mean the name in Spanish? Yeah. Because um, yeah, yeah, yeah. if you say the name in English, then it, it won't work? No, but it's the same. So Pacey is Oh, right, right, right. Okay. It's just that for some reason he has an address list here. Or he may have addressed it under the different types. Let's see. Bacteria, so we're going to be dealing with it. It's, that means it's S, it's alkaline, so we're going to be dealing with it from positive. Patients of cystic fibrosis and also young onions. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's do a scan. Let's, let's, let's start with a scan. How are you feeling today? I'm feeling fine. You know, it's just the thing. This, the thing with this bacteria is that, like for now, I probably have it in very small quantities, so it's yeah. not really doing anything. Yeah. But the the, the risk is that. If it, it develops, go, right. it, it can go really, really quickly and like attacking the lungs and it can be yeah. fatal pretty quickly. So, um, so I feel fine. Lie down face up with your ankles. No, no, leave your shoes on. Okay. Yeah, leave your shoes on. And just for reference, you might wear shoes that tie up because it's okay. easier to read. That's all. Okay, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, but these are good. Just lay down and the feet hanging off the edge. Okay. So. We should turn this. These are my most powerful magnets. Okay. So we're just going to start with a basic scan. Since we know, we you know, the scan, right, takes you everywhere from the head, the face, all, all over the whole body. And that could take a long time. Okay. Um, in the interest of time, because you want to have the magnets sitting where they're going to be um, uh, for a half hour, right? At this distance from the uh, from the equator, right? So we, we don't want to waste too much time looking yeah. for the spot, right? Right. So no, it's it's for sure in the lungs. Exactly. Right. So in the lungs, exactly. Yeah. So. Okay. So we go with negative. This is negative. See right here that her left ankle kind of pulled up a little bit compared to the right. Mm -hmm. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do your basic detox, which includes the lungs. So we're gonna go. And usually we do negative on one side, positive on the other, but because we know that we're dealing with an issue at the lungs. We're going to go negative and positive on both. Okay. Just okay. under your lung right here. And we're going to do the same for your kidneys too. Why? Because with basic detox, we do lungs, 
kidney, pancreas, um, bladder, ascending and descending colon. Okay. You'll feel much. Oh, did you drink a lot of water today? Uh, some. Uh, you should have some water. Okay. I drank like a bottle of water. You did today? Yeah. Okay. Because it's going to dehydrate you. What happens is the red blood cells, in order to protect themselves, whenever the blood is acidic, right, um, meaning the pH is too low, the red blood cells stack up like this, like cookies, to protect themselves. And uh, when we place the magnets and the blood passes underneath the magnetic field, the magnetic field polarizes the iron in the blood and makes them all separate. So it's kind of like, is your navel right here? Your navel? Right, navel. Uh, yeah. This is for your stem cells. This is a huge negative magnet, goes right on your navel, and this is gonna release stem cells. So separate and apart from the barrier magnetism. Uh, this is for your pancreas. With like phones and computers, aren't we like surrounded by magnetic fields yeah, all the time? Yeah, and bad magnetic fields at that. Right. So yeah. then, for instance, do you like turn off all your? I try to. Yeah, yeah I try to. And you know, also, um, if I want to build a house, I would like to have it lined in copper, which means that the cell phone wouldn't work in the house, but it still would be better. Why? Because of the you know, electromagnetic. Uh, energy is really not good. It's not good to have it next to your head, especially. Mm -hmm. And copper, what I said. Copper definitely insulates. Yeah. If you go to like any of those MRI places, yeah, before they build it, before they install the MRI, they, they wrap it over the copper. Mm. Just like they do with X ray, with lead X ray. some detox so you may get a little headache or you know and you're definitely going to be dehydrated so I can't stress enough that you should drink water all right and uh and the basic detox that like addresses dissipation mm -hmm. trust me it'll um your body once your body returns to a pH balance it won't tolerate any toxins now if you're having a a problem with dissipation you said it's a it's a fungus, right? No, it's a bacteria. A bacteria. Then that is bacteria is high pH. That's alkaline. So you'll probably use the bathroom a lot. <laughs> uh, um, and then, so I'm going in for the for the test tomorrow. Okay. Um, and so, will it have time in one? That I don't know. That I don't know. Because some people get, some people have a very good effect. Dr. Goyes did a thing in Mexico where they brought a bunch of, you know, just because there were so many naysayers, brought a bunch of clients and they said like 60% of them were treated in only one visit. It's more than half, but it's not like overwhelming. You know what I mean? But most people, one or two visits. You ever get a sore throat? Mm, no, yeah. scratch your throat. I mean, sometimes. Okay. Can you take this off? No, 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 no. Subclavio, subclavio. This is the circulation that affects the throat. Mm -hmm. So. I guess because I get a lot of people who may occasionally smoke like you. They occasionally smoke like you. <laughs> okay, now we check again. So your balance. So now what we're going to do. Under the area 
areas where there are a lot of blood, there's a lot of blood circulation. Can I have more tape? Mm -hmm. Thanks. I do feel like things are happening. You do, right? Yeah. There's like things are churning. Yeah. Yeah. What do you mean? I just like. I was physically in LA. You, know? yeah. you would. It's far, you know. Yeah. It's far. It is far, and and, and the the market is there. The market of yeah, yeah. is there. I mean, there are a lot of people here that are into holistic health, but not as much as in LA. Yeah, there's, a, there's just more money in LA. There's more people. More cars, wow, I yeah. definitely do feel things. Really? You do, right? <laughs> okay. Okay. Especially where this big negative thing is. The one on your navel? Yeah. Good, good. That those are that's releasing your stem cells. Okay. We're just gonna lay these and then I'm gonna take it. This is beyond the basic detox. Okay. Bas basic detox was just the top five. Um, kidneys, lungs, pancreas, and uh, the colon, ascending and decolon, and descending. Yeah, she's, she's supposed to be here now. She's going to be here um, hopefully before the end of the year. And that's the thing I've been trying to get, you know, whatever. It, it's vindicating now, but it was painful over the last few years. And I have my 10-year-old here. I teach him how to do this. Really? Yeah, he's really good. He's good for clients. Wow, yeah. at 10. At 10. Huh. Very caring, very loving. 
And then I show him, you know, that what we're doing is we're sharing positive energy. So we have to have it to give it. So we can't get into negativity and all of that. Mm -hmm. And once a week we go to the beach so that we can get regrounded. <laughs> and uh, and you got to walk in sand or grass, but sand is better. Why? Because the earth has a negative charge okay. and we need that. We need to uh, um, rejuvenate the body's um, magnetic balance. The best place, my favorite place, is right where the water reaches the sand, that damp water, mm -hmm. oh, right there. The magnetic field of the earth is caused by the churning of the metals, right? And molten metals beneath us. So that's why the magnetic field is stronger in certain places like Sedona, Arizona, even though, mm -hmm. you know. But in general, because of the location of the planet, the planet is an ellipse, right? Kind of smashed out, wider at the ends. And so if we were doing this at the equator, we could be done in 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if we were doing it in Canada, it may take two hours. Yeah. Because of the distance from the equator, it affects. Yeah, in Mexico, you're you're much closer to the equator. Yeah. How do you feel? Uh, yeah, like things are happening. You do. But I feel okay. Hold on. Now we're gonna go precranial and bladder. Ten one seventeen. <laughs> well, at least you're beautiful. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and positive on the bladder. Just right here. We're going to give this until four, which gives us more than a half hour. Okay. That should be good. Okay. Great. Thank you. We're getting some fans. Oh, Joe, Daryl. Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're live. We're live. Oh, shit. <laughs> what are we doing here with our old <laughs> documentary style thing? <laughs> we should have been live all yeah. along. <laughs> Dude, let's make a live movie. Yes. The, the whole thing is a Snapchat. So yeah, I guess so. Do you guys have a studio that you're working with right now? Working? No, not really. We're doing the, the idea behind what we're doing is just that it's. Turn this off for the sake of battery, but the idea behind what we're doing is just that um, we wanted to make something like I um, I've never directed a feature before, or done something so big, and so we we're just like, all right, like we want to tell the story because it's it's super, it's about her and her like her stuff and everything yes. is super beautiful and super nice. So we're just gonna make it basically, yes. and then afterward talk to producers about get, like getting it funded in post production, yeah. like for a different if, if we need to, you know. That kind of thing. So it's not a studio or anything. It's really us and it is um, hyper independent. Hyper independent. <laughs> we have a Kickstarter that comes out on Monday, actually. And so you have what? A Kickstarter. Really? Mm -hmm. wow. We'll send it to you so you can see the video. Definitely. And I'm gonna try to get my friends to kick, yeah, kick uh, some money. Yeah. We can oh. share it on the women's thing. <laughs> we were just asking about you, sir. How are you? Nobody was here. I'm right on the roof, but the uh, place is the place that has our access, and they weren't there either. Really? Yeah. So let's check the first step first. Well, okay. Uh, okay. This was the only one that. This is Sweet Two, right? Sweet Two was the only one that was ever working, right? So Sweet One needs to be turned on. I mean, Sweet One needs to be turned on. My office is a hot box. <laughs>
Actually, this was intended to be a green screen, and, oh, it, yeah, it, and it worked. I was gonna say, it does, yeah. <laughs> so I just I, I lit it up, and I did interviews of clients. I had a table here, and this was only a set. And then when I started doing biomagnetism, I took the table out and put these beds. Cool. Here. So what was what you started with? The other neural feedback. Neural feedback. And it's still like you know, kind of the main draw it's a it's it's about it's changing right now right because with you guys and the people who just left you know those are two new clients today biomagnetism is starting to pick up Ooh. see neurofeedback has been around since the 70s mm -hmm. so either people know about it or they don't you know PTSD yeah, I, guys do, do people who come for biomagnetism like do they know about it? If so, where did they hear about it? Um, most of the people that come from for biomagnetism are either Mexican, and uh -huh. so therefore they learn about it, you know, through the culture, or, um, well, I introduced Dick Gregory to it, right? What? Uh, so what did you say? Dick Gregory. The, you know Dick Gregory? No. He just passed away. He was a pretty famous celebrity. <laughs> Mm -hmm. He ran for president in 1964. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, he was one of my clients. Um, a pretty outspoken activist, comedian, actor. But, uh, Doug Gregory? Dick, Dick, Dick Gregory. Gregory. Yeah. yeah. And so the rest are Mexican? Most of the time, yeah. And um, But I did have a couple of people I had a couple that came in last week, and, uh, well, yeah, I had a, I'm live, I don't know if I should really say this. <laughs> yeah, we're, yeah. <laughs> but I, I, I had one client who, well, I'm going to say it, screw it, it doesn't matter, because it happened. I had one client who I actually <laughs> liberated from HIV status, okay? What? Yes, yes, this can do that. Yes. What? This can do that. We're well, moving HIV positive to HIV negative. Yes, yes. You just have to look like this for 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we just repeat this one more time. Sorry. <laughs> okay, the human immunodeficiency virus lives in the colon. And it's a virus. HIV? It's a virus, right? So it is acidic. But it holds on to the body by means of the E. coli bacteria that lives in the thymus gland. So, pick up one of your hands, like that, I'm sure. Something. These, you see how powerful they are? They yeah, They stick Whoa. through your body, right? <laughs> they stick through you. These are actually contraband, they're so, they're so powerful, right? But we would place a positive here on the thymus, and then a negative under your butt, under your seat, and then that can depolarize the HIV virus. Wow. So, and this successfully happened for a client? Yes. For one client who did not want to give, obviously, a testimonial. Right, right, right. Even though you said you would before, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was just glad to be able to help. And did you ever try with other people that have HIV? You know, I mean, I, I know I have a lot of friends, you know, in the community and have a lot of friends in West Hollywood and I, I offer, right? I offer, especially, I mean, I'll give free treatment in exchange for a testimonial. Yeah. You know, uh, but you know how people are. Why would they not give a testimonial? I know, right? Well, why would they not accept the treatment? Yeah, it's weird. What? Stranger things have happened. Get, yeah. 
Why do you think that is? I think it's a, I think it's cognitive dissonance for a lot of people, right? Because what, because what, what is that exactly? Cognitive dissonance? Where where the new information is, you know, puts such a shock on your old information that you just mm. can't take it. Mm. You know, it's like contemplating that 9/11 was an inside job. Most people can't can't contemplate that the most powerful government in the world could be subverted, right? Mm. So they just go, oh no, the official story, you know. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And whatever. I don't, don't want to go down that rabbit hole. But <laughs> so, so you think that like what you're trying to say is that um, the idea that such a simple treatment could work it, is it, so crazy that they were like, this is just bullshit and right. we're not even going to try. Right. The TV says I'm supposed to die, <clears throat> so I'm going to go home and die. <laughs> you know, I remember when... Don't confuse me with facts that might save my life, right? No, I, I remember when I when I, the first time I did biomagnetism, I would have never tried something like this unless, like, I didn't have the bacteria that was, you know, could be deadly in, like, in the in a in a short term, you know. Yes. It was like so <clears throat> dangerous, and it wasn't even me. It was my mom who was like, "Let's try anything." And I remember we got there, and we did the treatment, and then the woman was like. After 30 minutes, she was she checked with my feet, and then apparently, you know, they, they were balanced. And so she's like, okay, it's gone. I was like, what? Like, I just done, you know, a month mm -hmm. of intravenous treatment. Mm -hmm. And in 30 minutes, in, in this random place, in the city, she's just tell. like, it's gone. Yeah, you can tell. You, you can tell when you're back to balance. And, yeah, she said, I mean, she, you know, she said this to me, and I was like, mm -hmm. it was so weird. <laughs> and then, I mean, but, you know, in that, in, in that place, I was like, you want to believe Right. The woman, so I was like, okay, we'll, we'll see. And me and my mom got out, and we were just like, we were looking at each other, like, do you, like, do you think this, this is real or not? And we didn't really know. And then we came back, and like the tests were negative, you know. I mean, maybe it was the antibiotic treatment, I don't know, but no, I, I still don't know, honestly, if I believe it because it's just so it's weird. powerful. You know, I don't like. You're just doing this to me, and you're telling me that it's gonna leave. And I magnets, which yeah, is something I don't, that I don't really, you know, I, I, I'm coming, I'm here, and I'm like, I believe it, but I'm also, it's just, you know, I get people who think it's who something that it's we so have weird. on the fridge every day, right? Yeah. And, and 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 I didn't even realize, you know, and I've been doing electronics for over thirty years, I didn't even realize, yeah, magnets are poles, negative and positive. Mm. But that the negative would have a different effect on the body than the positive, you know. All right. I'm gonna go wash these cups for you guys because you should have some water. Oh, thank oh. you, thank you. It's very That's important so nice. to be hydrated. I don't know, you know. But I'm telling you, like, like I remember my college essay about this, about this experience. Really? You know? but yeah. Mm. It was just, because it was crazy. Like, you know, it was like, I, I mean, more even so than, than today. Well, no, in two days ago, like, this, it, the doctor called saying that I had this bacteria again. And now I'm more calm about it because it's already happened, but the first time. It was like, I mean, I'm telling you, my mom was like in a depression, you know, it was like my doctor once, we, we could probably, maybe should have asked him this, but he explained to me once like what sebacea can, like can do, and it's like it can, if it, if it proliferates and, it, and if you can't stop it, if you can't, it, if it just starts to um, yeah, proliferate, well then you can, like they can attack lungs that can be like dysfunctional and like, and like die in six months, you know, so he was uh, he was explaining this and like I didn't know that back then because my, my parents didn't tell me but my mom knew and so I mean yeah she was in a, in a deep depression so we, we flew to Mexico City and and like it wasn't like today you know we're just like we're doing this but also kind of in a light mood like back then it was like dark you know we, we were there and my mom was like depressed brought up you know and so when we get there and this woman does this 
but now like this is like my life is like might be saved by this and then she just says like it's gone and we're and because also the antibiotic treatment like that I did was super super you know very very heavy like a month of like three different antibiotics like through the veins like I was you know I was like like very 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 intense for your body like because the antibiotics like destroy as many like way more bacteria than the ones that you need to be destroyed you know and so and still with that treatment it was like one out of two chances that it would work and then we're there at this in Mexico after after the treatment was done but before I was going to do the test and um yeah and so she did it and, and she checks me like it's, I think it's gone I was like are you sure she's like yeah yeah no I checked it's gone like, there was no more of it you know and then my mom you know you're just like yeah we like walked out and then came back to LA and then did and then did the the test and then it, it was gone you know and like maybe it's the antibiotics but for me it was just such a it was just crazy you know <laughs> it's really, just fucking crazy like i don't know if this hiv thing is true but if it is like it's it's crazy mm. you know and no one like no one knows about this and like and i you know i'm like super careful with things like this like i don't believe people you know and i'm not like but this was just yeah Where you're like close to to death, or like something so important that you're you're down to just like throw away all your your beliefs, because like this is a matter of life and death, and mm -hmm. you'll do it in, in in normal day life. You know, sometimes you know, like oh, I might be wrong, but like I kind of want to just stick to what I think, because like it's not really worth like I have my ego, and I don't want to rethink my my deep deep ideals. But when you're like gonna die, or you might, then you're just you kind of just don't really give a fuck about your. I will get that ideas. cleansing clay, Tracy. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> That's um, and so yeah, that was just he was okay, I was really like hardcore atheist, like and, and that was that like, so to do with God, but just the idea of like just don't be like too sure of your ideals, even of like things that are super popular or like things that are commonly accepted. It's still like there are things that are cra are crazy that happen if you're open to it. But I have no idea if this is true though. <laughs> We're very impatient girls. <laughs> yeah, we are. We all are. This is yeah. the, this is the time. You know, in, in neurofeedback, you know, that takes half hour, an hour per session. So it, it, it requires patience. No, you're right. It's a good exercise. Yeah. You got to be able to sit down. But now I'm at the point where I come in every morning and I do an hour of neuro. At least. What, can, can you re explain what that is? Um. Well, I can put on a couple of videos of people that can do a better job than me. Oh, sure. Doctor, uh, I study at the EEG Info, EEG Institute in um, Woodland Hills. Oh, here's a good. If you 
YouTube search synchrony neurofeedback. The first video you're going to see is my instructor, Sue Afflin, right here. And uh, she went to Vietnam, I believe it was. Yeah. And they, they did synchrony neurofeedback with Buddhist monks that had been meditating their whole life to compare their experience with the neurofeedback oh. experience. Should I put it in a video? Huh? Should I put it in a in big screen? Of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let me turn it on the two. Yeah, the, the, the results are pretty interesting. like for you to experience our new synchrony program and I understand that you are a very long term <laughs> meditator. Can you tell us about that? Um, yeah, I can. Yeah. So um, he, the venerable year, he graduated from the Buddhist University in 1984 and after that he uh, went on to the master degree uh, and he a degree in research and study about life after death meaning like the uh, after death and reincarnation, also related to how our mind and how it is in, in that process. So basically, from 1984 to uh, 1990, he was doing that research. And so how did you get a degree in life after death? What did you write in your studies? For nine years, he was in the meditation. We do not know. We have. Meditation and deep breathing. <laughs> so, really different. I mean, it has some ways different, and you experience some difficulties and challenges in terms of mentally, psychologically, and physiology. But uh, like physio the physio the physio the physio the physio the seven day, so, um, the seven day hair was <laughs> <laughs> almost time for another shave. <laughs> so basically, that is a brief sum up of his experience. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is put uh, three of these electrodes on your head with some paste, and that's going to pick up your brainwave activity. Nothing goes into your head. We're going to measure that. It's intense, isn't it? Display it's it here directly and to use you. that information to drive this the display. <clears throat> so you're going to uh, have headphones, so you're hearing some sound, and you, you have know what else works? Leeches. This. Leeches. Yeah, the sound and the vision black leeches is that stick to you and suck what your brain is doing. So we're, oh, we're going to so start cool. with 10 hertz. We're going to extract that 10 hertz activity yes. that your brain is making and simply show it back to you. Russians and Turkish. The hard part is, a lot of the Islamic countries, but, but Russia is The hard is part is that I don't here, want you to do like, I anything. bought my leeches from the Russian to leech farms. I don't want you to meditate. Allow to engage with feedback and see what your experience is like that. That's in the parietal lobe, which is really good for alpha. Does this have anything to do with an electricity program? That's what it is. Oh, it is. It's EEG biofeedback, electroencephalogram. Uh, yeah, and I, I, I meditated, and I saw that the waves, the the waves were different when you when you meditate. Yeah, I did the test. You guys can both try it out.
Do you feel more peaceful than this? Yes. Okay. Now that was uh, alpha sigma. I think they did it at 10 hertz or at 12 hertz. So the next session, they did it in the gamma zone, which is above 30. Wait, so there's something that's sent? Like, they're sending energy. Yeah, they're sending. So during that time, what do you mean? The alpha sigma? We're training. We're encouraging alpha wave activity. How? Well, uh, for example, if he were to have his legs pain, he would. Brain wave activity outside of that range is in images. I can show you a lot better than that. Oh, so it's where the image is looking at? Yes. Oh, got it. Yes. And audio. The feedback is visual and audio. And the audio feedback is more powerful than you think. Okay. So then he's made to feel more alpha. And then now they're going to make him feel more. Gamma. Gamma. Which is 30 hertz and above. And that's, and that's called. The strange thing about it. Delta, 0 to 5, is deep sleep. Theta, round 7, is light sleep, REM sleep, dreaming. Alpha, yeah, alpha is like where we are right now, right? Awake and relaxed. Beta is if you're focusing, like listening to a speech. High beta is 25, beta is 20. High beta is 25, like if you're trying to solve a math problem. In that zone, the, uh, the, the, best, the higher the frequency, you're going to get more tense. Your cortical stimulation is going to be more tense. And once you break past 30 hertz into the gamma zone, the physical reaction is the reverse. Do you feel like at 30 hertz and above, the brain is moving extra fast? Of you, you can just instantly train with it. As you can go with the meditation. Like, what's the real life? Yeah. 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 So, is there water? Oh. Yes, here. Uh, real life example of thinking in the gamma zone is um, love, peace, problem solving, conflict resolution. Yes, that's why they call the gamma. Oh, well, I'm sorry, it's not it's, it's the unifying frequency range. So even though it's a very high frequency, you feel a really good sense of community with your fellow man. You feel a really happy sense. It's not. It's not an anxiety Yeah. Kind of yeah, it's like sublimation. Yeah, it is. It's like, so is that, that's a good way to put it, sublimation. So, so what he's about to do now is try gamma frequency neural feedback. He's explaining his, his alpha neural feedback, alpha synchronous experience, and saying that his own meditation is more intense. Yeah. Okay, did you get this then, uh, Less of the gamma gamma is like and less of the so there's math. So, in order to achieve that state, he needs all those matches like love, 
Problem solving, yeah. What else did you say? Like Peace, exactly. Higher consciousness. Yeah. Higher and, and when is he explaining this? To 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 so he, he's That's explaining. Oh, I want to try this. Yeah. However, it's still remaining there in his uh, unconscious, and when he returned that to that state, he needs to go into that retreat or meditation. So we're very grateful yeah. for you. Thank you. Okay. Let me um, propose okay. if, if we can yeah, yeah, tomorrow yeah. to try one more thing. So <laughs> if you choose the frequency <laughs> group yeah, or the brain yeah. of 10 hertz, which is a sort of a beginner's kind of meditation, I think. Um, it is possible for us to choose a lower frequency, which is should be deeper, or we can choose 40 hertz gamma, which many people find. A very, very intense um, meditative experience. <coughs> Would you be willing to try one of those? I love it. You feel it when you do it? I think the which one to try first. Yeah. 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 Can you try it on your own hand? Yeah, of course. I'm the session. How long is that? I mean, how long? Yeah. Okay. Uh, not that so let's try long. synchrony so she, again. I don't know. Know. But we're going to do different frequency. I'll do another yeah. time. Yeah. 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 He said he would like to add in one more thing mm -hmm. after he did the sessions to, um, mm -hmm. here yesterday. Here are some gamma. <laughs> when we came back oh, to the gamma. <laughs> yeah, cool. You want to do the fast problem <laughs> one? <laughs> really long time ago, really deep. Oh, yeah. That's, that's what we do. We prepare your nervous system to do what you want to do better. Cái chương trình bệnh này là cái ý nghĩa là như vậy thầy đang chuẩn bị cho mình cái điều kiện cái cơ thể của mình và cái cái hệ thần kinh của mình để nó làm những công việc mình cần làm trong cái quá trình thiền định hoặc là một công việc thì thầy vừa vừa phân tích. He said he felt really good and he said it's a good experience. Longer and deeper. That's that's good. All right, one more thing to try. So this is 40 hertz gamma. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
genuine bliss. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Sometimes I can get there. Yeah. Right. Can't keep it, you know? Yeah. <laughs> it's all right. You want it. <laughs> yeah. So how do you feel? Well, I'm feeling all weird. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, like, uh, um, weird how? Uh, like, weird inside. Like, everything's being, like, moved or... It seems like there's things, like, forces being sent from all sides and they're all kind of, like, making my body weird and mm -hmm. it's, like, my stomach's, like, growing. You okay? Yeah, yeah, I feel, I just feel like, uh, like, a, a big blob. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying. You look very cute. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> This one, the big one on my stomach, is is fucking with my it's like doing a lot of things. It's a, it's like a magnetic laser. Okay, wow. Yeah, that's a big giant twenty thousand Gauss magnet. Okay, it's shaped like a ring. Yeah. And then in the middle, they put an inductor, a coil, right? Well, okay, wow. Yeah, and so what it does is, the back is really the negative side, but it takes the the polarity of the back. Through the coil and it shoots it out like a laser. Of yeah, I'm, I, I'm sorry, I can feel, you can feel it. You feel like it piercing. in your body, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. See, it's like it's like a laser of negative magnetism uh -huh. right there, pointing right down into your navel. Feels good, huh? Uh, it, kind of now it feels like it's moving stuff. Not yeah. necessarily good, but let's replace that with this, which is also negative, same polarity. It's lighter in weight. But look at how much stronger it is. You see how I picked that name? Wow. Yeah. How did that feel? So there, yeah, there's like things in my jaw. Yeah. I don't know why. Bruxism. Do you ever have bruxism? What is that? You ever bite your teeth? Crunch your teeth? No, one time when I did MDMA. <laughs> but if not, <laughs> if not, no. <laughs> yes. That's all I'm going to say to that. <laughs> So you feel lighter? Uh, well, right now it's hard to describe how I'm feeling. Yeah. I mean, honestly just feel like things are moving. Yeah. Moving around. Um, Magnetism is great. Maybe it will be clear when we get up. It's amazing how the magnets match our nails, match. <laughs> It's like if it was on purpose. It's, it's like, like you were on a film set and this was on purpose. <laughs> Shh. Shut it up. Don't reveal <laughs> secrets. <laughs> So I, I found this uh, little device, um, it's pretty cool, called a royalty, you ever heard of it? Yeah. It'll, um, for businesses, it will send a um, text message to every Android phone within, three, within 100 meters. Wow. That's a football field distance. So wait, it's a... It's a it's a little little device like as big as a key ring. Oh. And and it sends out just all day, right? Uh, wow. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. That's kind of scary, like yeah. a little bit just advertising wise. You know? But you see like right there, 
That's a rehab center that has 12 step meetings all day and all night. Right. right? And I do drug, you know, rehabilitation. <laughs> you know? Right. Yeah, I mean, so I'm going to stick one right in the window, just kind of pointing in that direction. Right. You know, and yeah. everybody who comes in the parking lot and everybody who goes to meetings and stuff, they at least know that. Right, right. That's Addiction important. recovery is available. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. a good point. With, with what? With biomagnetism or with both? Oh, with both. Oh, wow. With biomagnetism, we immediately can take care of the physical addiction by instantly detoxing everything, yeah. helping the body get rid of the right. trace amounts of whatever chemical they're addicted to. And then with neurofeedback, we get rid of the dysregulation so that makes you want to... Yeah, because something like weed has no physical addiction, no, but, but psychological. It does have... Yeah, because we accumulate dysregulation as a result of normal life, whenever we get shocked or scared or surprised. And in dysregulation, you can consider it like a little muscle kink, in, you know, a little kink in your in your brain. It, it makes it harder for you to reach an alpha state. It makes it harder for you to reach the state like we are right now, just being relaxed and, and, and happy. And so alcohol gets you there immediately, and marijuana is even more effective. Uh, marijuana gets you to an alpha state? Oh, yeah. Alpha theta. Alpha and theta. It doesn't get you to gamma? No. Cocaine might get you closer to gamma. Okay. <laughs> right, MDMA also, right? Oh, yeah, MDMA. Is that yeah, That kind of stuff. You right, LSD. I think LSD fires all frequencies simultaneously. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It just amplifies everything. It just amplifies right. it. Yeah. But I, 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 I studied neurofeedback with one doctor, a medical doctor, Who's really into it? He says he wants to do it with ayahuasca. He wants to try and do it. Yeah, well, ayahuasca. we're doing it in like yeah, two doing months. That. Really? You going yeah. to Peru to do it? Yeah, we're yeah. going to Peru to do it. To Peru. <laughs> They'll do it here, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I want to try it too. Yeah. I've done, uh, well, I guess, I've done psilocybin and mm -hmm, stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, as a part of our documentary, we're going yeah. to Peru to do ayahuasca. So we're first going to Mexico. Uh -huh. to see Dr. Goyes and the woman I, I saw when I was 16 and then we're going to go to Colombia and Chile and Peru and, and try different like indigenous healing and ceremonies and well let me interest you guys in something maybe you'll find it interesting alright the amplifier I have here is an electroencephalogram it's a two channel amp right mm -hmm. and what they're doing with this gentleman the, with this guy here, the reason they're only using three probes and they're using a jumper is because uh, they're giving him single channel neural feedback, right? So you can do single channel and you can do dual channel, right? Now, with... Um, we have a technique called the, the honeymoon protocol, right? For couples or for parents who are having trouble with their kids, and uh, we can put two people to the same amplifier simultaneously. Wow. And it not only trains you, uh, but it puts you in sync with each other. It's oh, wow. Wait, can yeah. we do that? Oh, my God. Yeah, you want to try it? <laughs> yeah. That's why I wanted to see if I could interest you guys in it. And that yeah. would be definitely something worth uh, getting on film, too. All right. Maybe we'll give you the camera and you can film Yeah, us. exactly. <laughs> so I wish I didn't break my tripod. Yeah. So. Oh, wow. Maybe we can stack some things and we'll put it on a yeah. makeshift track. Yeah. Yeah. The table might be high enough. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, it's okay. You can go, like, one time. Shick. Yeah. <laughs> it still hurts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. just doing it. So I'm from Belgium. I just oh, was born okay. in Spain, but I, I've been living here for a long time. So. 
Been to Belgium. Yeah, really? Yeah. Ugh. Been all over Germany. Well, I mean, let's just put it this way. I spent four years in Europe, <laughs> and I never came back for one vacation. I spent all of my vacations. Well, I really do feel different. You do, huh? <laughs> I don't know if it's because I've been here for like a month. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I do feel lighter. You I do, really right? do, yeah. Drink yourself the water. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll drink some water. Yeah. Oh, I, I feel like, yeah. Is it this? Yeah, yeah, green and blue, yeah. you guys. Yeah, that one's yours, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's good. Good stuff. Thank you. So now do we know that it's gone? <laughs> so they shop? Yeah, let's hope so. Yeah. Now, I'll let you know. You might want to use the bathroom before neuro, right? Because once you're on the table, it makes your kidneys go. Wait, oh! Like now, do you have to go? No, wait, really? Because uh, you were not hydrated enough. Alright. <laughs> it's so hot today. Yeah. Sweating and everything. Ugh. Oh, because our thing, our honeymoon thing is going to last 30 minutes? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. All right. Your time? Yeah. Absolutely. Which would be a little bit distracting a bit, but... I really do feel like a... You do look good, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Did you meditate? Thank you so much for all the food. There you go. Thank you so much for making us try all these things. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go to the bathroom and then we can yes. do that. I can figure out the camera thing. What is the bathroom? Oh, uh, take the key from the top and it's right down the hall. Right here? Yep, all the way down through the door.
I like shooting. I mean, I, I want to do a documentary myself. On so, what? I don't know. You don't know? I don't know what yet, you know? It's just, I want it to be interesting, you know? You just to write something, I mean, whatever you care about, you know? Yeah. It's like whatever you feel is like something that people should, should know. And travel is important. Travel is super important. Travel is super important. That's what makes it interesting to people. They get to see something that they wouldn't have ordinarily, you know. Mm -hmm. The minute you, especially, you know, you guys are going to be traveling for this, the minute you show that it was done in more than one country, yeah. people are going to go on. I'm super excited. It's open. It should be open, right? Is it locked? Oh! <laughs> It's the smart lock. She must have pressed the button. So now we're going to do biomagnetic pair therapy. You guys go to the fair. Mm. You get one of these one of these charger cords at the fair. What? Yeah. Go to the LA County Fair and they sell these fifteen bucks. Oh wow! Yeah. It's not bad. LA County Fair. First year I came here. I had never been here. I here. It's always. Yeah. It's the last game, huh? Hey. You guys can use the sofa, mm -hmm. or one can use the sofa, one can use the chair, it's up to you. That might be better for amp. Yeah, yeah, especially since we're going to use the amp, the same you amp. You have the chair? I'm going to say, you have to take the chair. Please. Okay. Okay. And... No, you have it. It's really cool. You're the... I was the queen of the one before. You were the queen of the one with the... <laughs> This is a patient. <laughs> I say that it's gone. Yeah. I said hat. It was oh, hat. Okay. Just, just so you know, I'm on board. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Cool. So, where are you guys from originally? I'm from LA. I was born in LA. Yeah. yeah. There you go. In Spain. Well, no, by by way of Spain. I was in Belgium. My uh, cinematography teacher is Belgian. Really? Yeah. Yeah, Dutch? Cool Does he speak French or Dutch? Do you know? I imagine he speaks both, right? Uh, it depends. Some Belgians, oh, sorry, some Belgians speak both. And German too, right? Well, those are the three national languages, but yeah. not everyone speaks all of them. Actually, most people don't. Yeah. Really? Yeah. But it's true that Belgian, like Belgians, are much better at languages than French people, for instance, because you're you're encouraged to speak like. It. For instance, in Brussels, if you want to find a job, you have to speak French, Dutch, and English. Wow. Which is already three, you know, three languages. It's yeah. a lot. So, sit here just so I can get you hooked up, and then uh, we can move over and then I can... All right. That's kind of um, are you thinking about the... You kind of film it. Um, should we just both sit on the couch? Yeah, probably, but... Are we gonna... Yeah. Oh, yeah, right? watch yeah. It? yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 it, it's gonna have its own graphic. Hold on, I have to get another lead. I really do feel like you know, lighter Good. and energy. I don't know if it's like a placebo or not. I mean, definitely something's happening. You know, here's yeah. that magnet. Yeah, 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 for sure. Weight on you is like something weird. Yeah. Like, but let alone like actual magnet. Yeah, it's so weird. It's like. We need one extra lead, so these are from old sets. <laughs> They're all good leads, but I just have to get one extra one. Gotcha. And so we're going to be watching this screen? No, we're going to watch, well, it's going to be that screen, but there's going to be other stuff on it. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. So we should be this direction? Or? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I like the sofa, but yeah. Yeah, facing forward. Okay, let's both sit on the sofa. Yeah. 
and uh, sit here. But, but yeah, sit here and let me get you hooked up and then we'll migrate over to the sofa. Yeah. So we're gonna be... And this is like, this is a recording our brain? No. Uh, well, yes and no. It's not delivering any energy to you. Right, right, but yes, it's recording the brain, but it's not a diagnostic tool, right? We're only recording the brain for the purpose of providing you with feedback. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's yeah. What I mean, yeah. yeah, I'm not scared that you're yeah, going not, to like, steal keep my records. Of, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm just getting a little tired too again. No, it's she not went on a date last night, and so now she's all tired. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't a date. 